One of these pizza flavors should have been called Of Glory to get that Gaga promo. Hello! Today I am trying Pizza Hut's new line of pizzas called The Edge. The description on the box says, thin, crispy crust, loaded with toppings all the way to the edge. Therefore, there is no crust. Now, a lot of people out there love crust. They're like, give me your crust, it's my favorite part. <laughs> I don't mind crust, I'll eat it, but it's always like my least favorite part of the pizza. It just has no toppings on it, so why would that be my favorite part? Like. Sometimes I'll eat the crust first, just to kind of save the best chunk for last, right? Anyways, there is no crust on this pizza, so I'm so pumped. Um, they have four different flavors, different topping themes with a special name. Um, I got all four, so that I can tell you guys which is the best, at least in my opinion. We have the Edge Pepperoni Lovers, which has pepperoni, pepperoni, and more pepperoni. That's what it says on the website. <laughs> And then we have the Edge, the Vegetarian, which is green bell peppers, red onions, and mushrooms, and Roma tomatoes. Of course, I don't like mushrooms, they're a fungi, so I did not get them. I took those off, but I got the um, peppers, onions, and tomatoes. And then we have the Carnivore, which is pepperoni, ham, Italian sausage, and bacon. Sounds great, but it should have had ground beef too. Like, ground beef on a pizza is it. If you haven't had it, try it. It's like the best combination ever. And last but not least, we have the edge, the ultimate. Pepperoni, Italian sausage, green bell peppers, red onions, and Roma tomatoes. So like that's kind of like the supreme deluxe moment, right? Now, a lot of people love to drag Pizza Hut. They're like, oh, Pizza Hut is so nasty compared to the others. Like it is stuck in the 90s. To me, to be honest, it's just as good as Domino's and Papillon. I think that they're all on an even playing field. None of them are as good as like authentic New York pizza or Chicago pizza, but they're fast food pizza and I love fast food pizza. So I'm here for this. Now, typically I am a normal crust person. I don't love thin crust and I don't love thick crust. I just like the original crust and these are thin pizzas. So let's see how I feel. I don't mind a thin pizza if it's like not too thin. I don't want to eat pizza on a cracker, you know? So anyways, let's look at the pizzas. Oh, which one is this? I think this is the ultimate. Now this is very thin pizza. Um, it has a very different look to it. There's a slight little blank area of crust, but it's almost on the edge of glory. So I can't complain. Is this the, no wait, wait, no wait. This is the vegetarian. I don't see meat. I thought that was meat, but it's just like a burnt bubble. <laughs> this is definitely onions, tomatoes, and peppers for sure. So that's the vegetarian, very exciting. Oh yes, um, the pizzas were $13 each and they didn't let me get like a medium or anything. I had to get all larges, which is like, <laughs> which is just a lot, but it's okay. It's worth it for the taste test and to figure out which one's the best, hello. Okay, so this, this is the ultimate, okay. I see pepperonis, I see peppers, I see Italian sausage. It smells very sausagey, like that is really coming through. It smells like a fennel seed. This is? The pepperoni lovers. Guys, I am a pepperoni lover. This looks incredible. It does have tons of pepperoni. Like that is a thick, thick layer. Oh, I'm salivating. I'm literally dripping. Last but not least, this must be the carnivore. Oh my God. Ooh, the Canadian bacon is in like strips. Oh, this one smells amazing. Can I just snatch a sausage? I love sausage. When it's crumbled. I don't like sliced sausage. That's nasty. Crumble sausage is it. Mmm, okay. Let me <laughs> save it for the taste test. Oh, one more. I'm really hungry. Let's start eating. Hello? Oh, thumbnail, thumbnail. Come on. I can't see without my glasses. Okay, there we go. Oh my God. You wait, that, that white paper is ugly. What is this thing? Get out of there. Okay. Oh, this is difficult. Oh my gosh. Not even. Ah! This is really upsetting. Okay, I think I got it. I hope I got it. <laughs> Let's eat. Of course, I underrate each pizza from one to 10 and give you my fully honest opinion. Let's first try the pepperoni. The pepperoni lovers. I'm just gonna grab a slice. I always go for the biggest one in the whole pizza. You know what I hate? When 
you're eating a pizza with like some friends or some family and there's like one or two slices left and you really want another one but you don't want to be like a selfish pig and then when someone takes it a little piece of your heart breaks off into a into a crumb of pepperoni it's very upsetting anyways let's try it mm. pepperoni lovers mm. I've never had Pizza Hut's thin crust. It's delicious. Mmm. This is so good. Wow. The pepperoni is it. Let's try the crust area. Okay. So it doesn't feel like you're eating pizza crust, but it is a bit crunchier than the rest of the pizza. And it has a little less toppings, to be honest. Like, listen, they can't get it all the way to the edge, 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 because it will just, like, melt off in the oven. So there is, like, a teeny tiny bit of space there. And it probably still is, like, my, my like, least favorite part of the pizza, but it's still good. And it's much better than your typical crust. This little piece has a lot of pepperonis on it. Give it to me. Mmm. Oh my god. Hello? Okay, so wow. The pepperonis got super crispy in the oven. The whole piece of crust is pretty crispy. It does not have that burnt taste that some thin crust pizzas get, which I don't like. It doesn't taste like a cracker. Thank god. It has a sort of parmesan-y taste to it and it has a lot of Italian seasonings on it. And a hint, tiny hint of spice. This pizza is delicious. I love it. Mmm. I'm gonna give this pizza a 10 out of 10. I truly have no complaints. Even the crust is great. Very crispy. All the pepperonis are amazing. The seasoning is great. The sauce is perfect. Everything is perfect, so I'm very impressed. Next up, the vegetarian. Now, like I said, I took off the mushrooms but it still has the peppers and the onions and the tomatoes. Let's try it. Hmm. Let me try the crust area. Listen, I love veggie toppings. I love tomatoes and onions on my pizza usually but on this really thin crust to be honest they shine almost too much they kind of take over and they're very like watery on this pizza it is so thin so there's not a ton of cheese or like a ton of sauce um and it's just too much of like a crunchy watery vegetable flavor for me i think that these toppings would be much better on a normal pizza and not the edge pizza i just don't think this is a good combination at all um, I'm gonna have to give this one like a five. It isn't terrible pizza, but it's not good pizza either. Wow, what a difference from that first pizza. Next up, let's do the carnivore pizza. Now this one I'm pumped for. Like I said, it has four meats. It has um, sausage, pepperoni, bacon, and Canadian bacon. Was it two bacons? No, no, pepperoni, ham, Italian sausage, and bacon. So it's ham. Let's try it. Those are my greasy fingers. <laughs> oh my god. This is it. Mmm. That's the crust area. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So good. Incredible. Okay, so that's amazing. I really think that the thin crust needs very flavorful toppings. And all these toppings are very flavorful. They're amazing. The sausage comes through, the pepperoni comes through, the ham comes through, and the bacon comes through 
all equally and they just blend together into a delicious bite. The veggie toppings simply did not have enough flavor for this really simple pizza underneath, you know? I think this is the ham, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious ham. Quality. Mmm. The strong meats just balance out the cheese and the sauce and the crust perfectly. It's another 10 out of 10. I am very impressed. If you love a thin crust, flavorful pizza, this is for you. Of course, if you eat me. Last but not least, we have... What was it called? The ultimate? The ultimate. The ultimate. I think. Or the deluxe? No, wait. The ultimate! I was right! This one has the veggie toppings plus the meat toppings. So let's see how they blend together. Very exciting. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Let's try the crust area. Hmm. Okay. So you know, it's great. The sausage and the pepperoni really add a lot of flavor. But to be honest, the vegetables still added, even with the meats, they added just such a wateriness to this thin crust. I truly think that these edge thin crust pizzas are not meant to have vegetables. Like they just really don't taste good on them. And I love vegetable toppings, but it's just not it on this pizza. Maybe the vegetables are cut too thick so they like keep in a lot of that watery texture. It just does not go with the thin crust. But because of the meat and all that, this is still a delicious pizza. I'm gonna give this one a seven. It's still good, but it's not like my favorite. Anyways, what an amazing taste test. I'm gonna go eat more. Uh, my favorites were by far the pepperoni and the carnivore. Both iconic, both 10 out of 10s. And the worst, of course, was the vegetarian. Guys, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout, for more content like this, fast food reviews, full menu taste tests. We love it here. Um, I love you guys so much. I'll see you next video. Oh, oh, oh.